we know what are sets right sets are well defined collection of objects we also know that things around us exist in forms of sets well have you ever thought whether you can count all the elements of all kinds of sets around well let's see let's take an example of fishes in an aquarium or fishes in this aquarium can you count the number of fishes in this aquarium yes 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we can say that fishes in this set is countable now countable sets are also called finite sets so we will use the term finite so what is finite over here fishes in this set is finite now what about number of stars in the sky can you count all the number of stars in the sky no so this is uncountable now uncountable sets are called infinite sets so what is infinite here the number of stars in the sky because you cannot count the number of stars in the sky it is an infinite sets it will never end so what are the two types of sets one is finite that is countable one is infinite that is uncountable let's take the examples of finite set what is a finite set a set that contains countable number of elements such as the number of fishes in this aquarium or the number of fish in this aquarium in maths a set a of natural numbers less than 6 well what are the natural numbers less than 6 1 2 3 4 and 5 you can count the numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 so there are five elements in this set so this is countable so this is a finite set now a set c of colors of the rainbow we all know that a rainbow has seven colors so the set of colors of the rainbow is a finite set now what is a infinite set a set that contains uncountable number of elements is an infinite set for example a set of real numbers between 3 and 4 like the number 3 and 4 can be divided into many decimals such as 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 3.5 and so on well let's take 3.7 and 3.8 can be further divided into more decimal numbers such as 3.71 3.72 3.73 3 and so on well we could divide any of the numbers in this manner now Say three point seven six and three point seven seven could be divided into more number of decimals, such as three point seven six one, three point seven six two, and so on. And in this manner, you will be able to divide any such numbers into more decimal numbers. So this will never end. So a set of real numbers between three and four will never end. And so it is an infinite set. A set A of integers less than six. now when you write the set of integers less than 6 you will see ellipses that means so on it will never end so those sets which will never end are infinite sets now one more example a set a of natural numbers greater than 6 what are the natural numbers greater than 6 7 8 9 10 and so on it will never end so this is a infinite set well you have understood finite and infinite sets so answer this set of all circles with a given center now suppose i was given this center and someone asked me to draw circles around us so i drew these many circles does that mean i cannot draw any more circles no i can draw more circles and in this manner i can go on drawing more circles so is this a finite set or an infinite set this is an 
infinite set because I can draw many circles around this center. Now, the set of all persons in America. It is a finite set or an infinite set. Why only in America? Take this as a set of all persons in the world. I agree that you may not know the answer that how many persons are there in America or in the world, but that does not mean you can't count. You can count the number of persons in America or in the world or in any other place. So this is a finite set. As it will end, it, it is not that it will not end. It will end at some place. Now, identify an infinite set out of the four given sets. Do it yourself. Now, let's check the choices. Now, the first choice. P is equal to set of all whole numbers. So, what will be the answer? In roster form, let's write. P is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Did it end? No, it will not end. So, this is an infinite set. Now, take the second choice, where Q is the set of vowels. Try writing it in roster form. A, E, I, O, U. So, we know all the elements. We can also count them. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, this is a finite set. Now, what about this? R is set of consonants. Let's write R. B, C, D, F, till Z. So, we know the elements here also. We can count it if we want. So, this is, is a finite set. Now, what about set of prime numbers less than 10? Let's write the answer. S is 2, 3, 5, 7, only till 7. So, we know the elements here also. We can also count them. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is also a finite set. Now, let's answer this question. Identify an infinite set. Which of these is an infinite set? C. Only P is the infinite set here. So, what did we learn? There are two types of sets, finite and infinite. Finite sets are those sets which are countable and infinite sets are those sets which we cannot count.